Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget you can follow me on my website, you can follow me now on Facebook, and you can also fi uh, find me on uh, Twitter and Google+. Plus. And of course you can follow my, you know, all my videos on YouTube as usual. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a copy of Centauri control panel as you remember I started this channel in uh, many years ago starting with Z panel X uh, Centora is a fork of uh, you know, Z, Z panel uh, except Bob Bobby Allen I think he used to be the main developer uh, all the rest of the team is still there and they made Centora uh, pretty good pretty stable uh, as far as I understand, is the same uh, graphics, same GUI. And today I'm going to show you how I, how I start uh, the installation for, you know, for Centora on a CentOS, and I'm using a VM on Proxmox. Without any delay, let's start it. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to log in to my uh, server on the CentOS one, and here I'm going to type the IP. And I'm going to log in. I'm going to accept here the uh, certificate. Now to install Centora, make sure you already have the uh, you know, yeah, an actual VPS or so a server running CentOS. Make sure you uh, double check on their website, centora.org. And here on their website, centora.org, on the installation, Make sure you uh, type the uh, correct information and make sure you get the, the right information for your OS. Now I'm going to show you how to install it. I'm going to do just a copy and paste as I've already done with the yum install wget y and this is going to get the main installation file from their web server. Now we're going to choose the location. Once I choose the locations, I'm going forward for that. I'm going to add the host name, the, you, know, you know, the actual domain or the subdomain where the, the actual panel is visible. And I'm going to use a tutorial dot and I'm going to press enter and there we go. I'm going to stop for a while while it's uploading. All the files been done. I think the installation started. Here we go. The installation is finished. It's very simple. Nothing to add. Make sure you copy this information from your uh, terminal. You can actually, uh, what you can actually do, you can find the uh, the main file saved by Centora called password.txt in the root directory. Uh, this is from my last tutorial. Here we go. I just copied. So I got all the username and passwords for MySQL as well and the panel. Once that's been done, um, let's close this one down now I'm going to press X okay now we go to my browser and I'm going to restart my VM or if you have a computer you know if you install uh, CentOS on your computer just restart your computer, you want to make sure everything is done properly. The DNS is working as well. There we go, we started. Now, what we're going to do, open a new tab, and I'm going to type the. There you go, I'm going to show you the actual terminal so I can actually see if the server has started. It's connecting. There we go. Yeah. 
you shouldn't take long now. Here is the address that you need. In this case, it will be for my server. I'm going to copy that. And also, it's Z admin for username, and that is the uh, password has been created. Of course, make sure you actually change it and make sure it's as strong as the one you see there. Again, I'm showing you that uh, the the list in the root directory is a file called password txt where you can actually download. And let me log in as root and the password for my server. This is nothing to do with the one I just showed you for Centora. This is the actual root password for your server. There we go here by typing ls. Uh, you can see the file password txt. You can actually uh, FTP it or FTPS in this case with port 22 and download it to, to your desktop as I'm going to do now. Let's see. I'm going to type the server IP. This is an internal IP. And again, root and the password of the server. Now this is SSH and is only accessible internally. It's not accessible externally, so nobody can actually access that. That port is not enabled in my router, so that's this is another thing you want to do. It's one of my videos on how to get started with ZPanel. It's exactly the same ZPanel X actually, and as as you will see now, is exactly the same GUI, same same panel really. Here we go. Uh, I open the. Let me try to open in a different. Uh, what I'm doing here? Now, let me see. Anyway, if you open the notepads, it won't come properly visible. You need to do a couple adjustments because it comes as one big line. But if you open with the uh, say notepad, notepad, I think plus plus. Let me do this now. Right click and here we go. Note plus, notepad plus plus. Here we go. As you can see, let me scan that. Here we go. We got all the information. I were, you know, as I already showed you, I already copied and pasted the new. Uh, file here we go we're going to copy that there now here we go as you can see it's exactly the same thing copy that go back here and now we're going to paste the address as you will see and it should there we go it works perfectly well i'm going to add the Username that is Z admin and the password as I showed you earlier on is automatically generated by the system. I'm going to copy. Of course yours is going to be different. And there we go. Paste that. Sure to remember me and press login. I'm going to remember that for now. And there we go. We are inside Centaur control panel. And as I mentioned earlier on, uh, you can actually watch my old videos. Uh, let me have a look here. I'm going to show you as well. Uh, where are we? Let me do a quick search. Z panel X here. Here we go. Here you can find all the Z panel X installations, how to get started. How to add your domain is exactly the same. Nothing's changed, nothing different. You can actually go back and learn how to even install, you know, or set up new modules. And we go templates and everything else. Everything is here. All you need to do is just go and do a search of all my videos, and you will find exactly what you need to get started. Any other problem, just write a comment, you know, under the video, and I'll be very, very happy to help you and to uh, direct you in the right, right place. There we go. Let me type domain as well, so you can actually see. Here we go. Have to set up domain name in Z panel, Z panel, Z panel X, exactly the same, the same way you're going to, uh, you know, set up the domain.
let me have a look on a little bit around uh, account information the server admin advanced mail domain management everything's under very easily under the actual menu here very easily accessible don't forget you can follow me on my youtube channel please share my videos as you can see i go 1337 i think i would like to you know i would like to reach about i don't know 10,000 subscribers by next end of next year i hope you can help me again follow me on facebook i'll see you next time